Ah, we killed the motorized. Good. The Committee for the Liberation of the Peoples of Russia has defeated the Gorky Tank Brigade. West Russian Revolutionary Front has defeated the Pletsk Military District. It looks like we're slowly but surely pushing the others back. We're losing a little bit of organization just because we're moving so much with the tank divisions. But I think that ultimately that's just fine. Uh, if you go to there, that would be great. In fact, you may as well take the train. Choo-choo. Central Siberian Republic declared war on the Federation of Novosibirsk and Alte. <laughs> Even though they're already losing a war against us, they're declaring more wars. Fantastic. Um, so now I really do need you to move quickly to secure the new capital. Thankfully, we have you force marching, so you should be there pretty soon. Wait, are you force marching? Now you are. Alright, Lissa Sibiusk has been taken. I would like one of you to go there and one of you to go there. Alright, what's left? Bakta. Let's go and take Bakta. Just need to make sure that we take everything before our enemies can. Or before the other Russian states can. Pretty sure that we've got this under control. We, we just have so many more troops than they do. Decisions available. What's available? Oh, we have loot. Aha! Um, right. So what else do we need to invest in? We've currently got a double investment in army professionalism. And in academic base. Huzzah! So I think if we can get industrial equipment, that would be the big one now. So new industrial equipment. And no, we don't. Not yet. Still working on it. We already took the schools last time. I think we now have a triple bonus for schools, actually. You're attacking here? That's silly. <laughs> Novo Sibirsk is just getting absolutely shredded by us. In a way, I feel kind of sorry for them. But only in a way. I don't really. Uh, Principality of Kimarobo has defeated the Central Siberian Republic. The poet is dead, a slave to honor. And suddenly Kemerovo is looking rather more scary. With a text size almost that of the Divine Mandate of Siberia. And Novosibirsk got nothing. Except for a future threat of war. Aha. Uh -huh. There we are. Right, let's get ready for the next stage. And we can now integrate Tomsk, which we should definitely do. Oh, these integrations reduce stability. Yeah, so we definitely want to keep the uh, stability secure control ticking over to counterbalance that. Lovely. Is everything now just factions and tribes post Germany victory World War Two? Uh, in Russia, it is. Basically, the Soviet Union just completely imploded after World War Two. I mean, Europe is a little bit more stable 
Africa for the most part was, except for this. This is one of the... I think this was one of the German states that imploded. The Americas look pretty much the same. It's only really Russia that suffered as much as it did. Now I have a bigger name than the silly Germans. Yes, I do. Quite substantially. In fact, I would say that we're probably joint second. Sorry, joint for No, second. Brazil still got the biggest. But I would say that we're on par with Australia, the Divine Mandate of Siberia, Kemerovo, and Canada. Possibly even slightly bigger than Australia. Australia. Alright, King's Speech is completed, so now let's do the King's Railway. Oh, now Kemerovo is getting infrastructure again. <laughs> okay. Transportation infrastructure makes up for the veins and the arteries of the nation, and when they are severed, all it can do is bleed to death. Its distant reach is unable to be sustained. Even the victors of a conflict are in danger of succumbing to this sort of collapse if they do not rapidly rebuild. His Majesty, the one who channels all of the creative force of the people, must respond to this waiting crisis. Streets and railroads will be restored and more. Re reliving the great infrastructure projects of the old Tsars, his land will be prosperous and connected more firmly than ever. We can build the world for ourselves, as long as he demands it. And how are we doing for civilian factories? We now have 21. We're up to 35 factories. Which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Although I think I will actually do this. And do we want to get infrastructure anywhere? That's a level 9. Is that Kansk? Bratsk. Bratsk is wanting to be repaired. So let's repair Bratsk and then build a factory in Bratsk. Because that's going to be as well developed as Kemerovo. And we'll get the uh, refinery just as quickly. Speaking of refineries, I do believe that we have now completed one. Which means we are producing our own rubber. Yep, we're producing one rubber. Of course, we have free trade. That means that my rubber production is not going to be as efficient. The King's Speech. Tsar Rurik strode across the stage with all the finesse and authority that his position commanded, his fur-lined cloak fluttering in the breeze. The microphone was set up and switched on. The speakers scattered across the parade ground were silent, save for the occasional faint whooshing as the wind blew over it. Turning to face the assembled soldiers, he did not wait before launching into his speech. Subjects! Loyal men! Fellow Russians! His voice boomed over the speakers. The time for which you have trained is upon you. Your homeland lies sundered, divided between a hundred bandit princes. They desecrate the corpse of Mother Russia. They cheer as they rape the body, smile as they bathe in her blood, and laugh as they feast upon her children. And they dare do it while you watch. But watch we shall not. The soldiers were listening intently to Rurik's every word, a thousand eyes boring into him. We, you, shall not stand by. You shall take up the sword, once held by your forefathers. You shall strike the foe before you, as we struck the Tatar, the Mongol, the Cossack, and the German once before. You shall pry those who defile the motherland out of their lairs, and cast them into the fire. And there shall come a day, God willing, when your valour and sacrifice unites Mother Russia once more. Ura! The soldiers threw their fists into the air, mimicking their Tsar's cry. Ura! Ura! The Russian bear at last leaves its den. Alright, so we're building the King's Railway, and we're going to move on to the Royal Governets after that, which will further decrease coring time. Sweet.
Would you guys ever use this trait? Damage plus 20%, defense minus 10. Yeah, for submarines, that's amazing. Because submarines don't defend themselves. Would I ever consider doing more of these vital sorts of videos on YouTube, like Mordred weight rates, naval traits, and hearts of iron? Probably not. I mean, that comes through me just doing hearts of iron games. This is probably one of the very, 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 very few games where I don't have a navy. Uh, so you kind of joined us at the wrong time here, Hugh. <laughs> Basically, every other game is me playing with navies. Also, why is the music stopped? Nuke atmosphere. We had this tune before, it just stopped. Oh, there it is. It's just really quiet. Cool. Carry on. Do I think that Vasily Zaitsev is one of these breakaway nations? It might be. The one I really want to know is if Wrangel is in one of the breakaways. I've not seen any um, reference to poor old Wrangel yet. So how much am I? How much manpower am I now tying up in garrisons? Because I suspect it's a fair amount. Yeah, it is. Three more days, then we finish integrating Kansk, and then our manpower should go up. We've currently got 4.9 million core manpower and 2.2 non-core. And we're probably about to get half of that back. The ABE declared war on Berinsky government. It's here. And we just got new schools back again. Well, all right then. And the 255 percenters are back as well. The General Berserk Lettland defeated Das Reichskommissariat Ostland. And we have six more factories. Crikey. Where do we get six factories from? Oh, the coring. Right. That's a lot of factories. That's an awful lot of factories, because we also got a bunch of civilian. Well, two more. Okay, so six factories. What do we need? What are we still short in? We're actually getting a surplus of artillery, which is good. We're getting a surplus of APCs. We need more. Because I would ultimately like to get two or three more tank brigades out, because we still have quite a few battle tanks. And we can produce more if we need to. So let's bring you up to five. Let's bring you up to four. You to two. You to three. You to four. And you to two. Yeah, because rubber is going to be a big problem for us. Really, really big problem. Can I buy rubber from anyone yet? Yes, I can. I can buy it from Letland. And I think that would actually be a very good purchase, because now I am no longer short. And we will have maximum production. Okay, so resources. I mean, all of this stuff is still being repaired. Then we will have access to it. And we'll have access to all of this very soon as well. Once we finish coring that. Sweet. Okay, King's Railway is done. So now we can do the Royal Governance. 
Our territory at this stage is great, and King Rurik, for all of his grace, is but one man. The extent of his realm is too great to be supervised entirely from his seat in Kemerovo. The time has come to delegate helpers, the eyes and the ears of his majesty in the newly conquered lands. The establishment of royal governors will vastly streamline the process of ruling. Naturally, the officer class are the best candidates for these new positions. They fought to add them into the kingdom and they know the land and they have the respect of the people and the soldiers for their efforts they can respect handsome rewards and the honors of royalty in the form of official titles by the way i just wanted to congratulate you on having cast the hard to find four weekly games never had so much fun watching competitive way form multiplayer thank you hugh appreciate that and commentated games are returning this weekend uh, it's Europe in Universalis rather than Hard to Vine, but it's a very popular series and is coming back for its fourth season. And if you are interested in joining us for Europe in Universalis 4 multiplayer game, uh, that is being opened to everyone tomorrow. So we're currently in country selections for the patrons and for the regular players. It opens up to the masses tomorrow so if you would like to join us in some europe universalis 4 if you want to see myself commentating it then please do join our discord which silver knight has just posted thank you for that uh you will find all the details there i don't want to do like individual invites here because you need to be on the discord that is where we communicate everything and i have had instances in the past where people didn't join the discord and it kind of messes us up so please do come join us but you must be on the discord Will this be on YouTube? Probably. It depends on whether it gets demonetized. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that this mod would work massively well multiplayer. Maybe one of the future um, scenarios. It, it kind of depends what the game is like for Japan, Germany, and the USA. Might work as a three-player with people that you know, but just as a mass multiplayer, doubtful. See, someone slapped a copyright on this mod. It's a group trolling the uh, devs. I don't think it's a legit co copyright claim. Okay, Rurik, do you have any other traits? No. You're on your way to getting Winter Specialist. You very nearly got Winter Specialist. You're at 95%. Sweet. You're not. And you probably aren't either. How are we doing with the training? So we're starting to get more and more of the equipment required for the Shield Maidens. We're still short manpower, which is interesting. The Divine Mandate of Siberia declared we're on the Pacific Fleet. Wait, that's a country. It is. Kamchatka. It's a navy with a state. Oh, I thought for a minute there that was going to be, um, what's his face from Transomer? It's not. The perfect Mordred nation. Yeah. Might have to try them. Except I'm guessing they don't have a focus. They do not have a focus. Am I going to get close air support? Eventually. Like, my rubber resources are still spread stretched rather thinly. We really need to get some of these refineries up and running. Infrastructural reserve completed. That was... Aha. Doctrine. We're almost done with the doctrine. Another 10% max planning? Oh, Alright then, if you insist. We need to be able to train our staff officers to be able to grasp the strategic implications of every on-ground decision. And we need to be able to see the big picture as well as the small. Far too often an army is ruined by the inability to look beyond the tactical level. This will not happen to our forces as our generals have the skills needed to craft intelligent and successful operations. And I do now have some planes available. AB declare uh, defeated... Brunzinki. Okay. Richard Nixon resigns. As of noon today, President Richard Nixon has officially resigned as his post of the President of the United States, the first to do so in nearly 200 years of American history. Nixon stood accused of wiretapping his rivals and the National Progressive Party during the 1960s election, as well as the obstruction for justice for trying to cover up the deed. With impeachment inevitable, he left it of his own accord rather than be convicted and removed. The office tells. Uh, sorry, the office falls to. Ver press blah. 
The office falls to Vice President John F. Kennedy, now America's first Catholic president. A charismatic figure, he has drawn both praise from the progressives and ire from the segregationists for his support of civil rights. Whether he can step out of the Nixon administration's shadow and forge his own legacy is yet to be seen. Can Kennedy hold the nation together? The Islamic Republic of Kostanai is declared war on the National Republic of Kontau. And Letland defeated the Farinike Panzania Patzina Organazzi for Ostland. So that's uh, Poland still raging on. Dreschler wins in Ostland. News from Ostland today is Otto Heinrich Dreschler has declared victory of the conflict has consumed Ostland for the last couple of months. Dreschler was the expected winner for many as Dreschler began the war with the majority of the colony's garrison at his beck and call. Despite this, Dreschler struggled to overcome his opposition and is seemingly poised to struggle through the peace as well. His domestic policy seems nearly non-existent as Dreschler's views seem entirely to circle around a dogged and obsessive desire to bolster the size of the garrison further and to put down any he believes as enemy of the Reich. Already, Dreschler has begun several brutal purges of Ostland, with no knowledge of how to repair the colony's problems without beating them with a hammer. This can only mean more conflict. Kolchak, that was his name. And yes, good point. Should definitely start doing espionage here. Novosibirsk, thanks for the reminder. Right, we are getting political power again. We can again scavenge for loot, please do. This just loses us political power, but will gain us a thousand manpower. Um, we should have gained a bunch of manpower back again when the occupations ceased. Plus also when we cored that territory. Return of the King has been bypassed, and we finished the Royal Governance because we already fought against uh, Tomsk. So now we need to silence the Hawks and go after Novosibirsk, and then we can complete all of these. So let's silence the hawks. The corrupt civil sil the corrupt Siloviki of Novosibirsk represents the largest danger to His Majesty's ambitions of conquest in this region. Alexander Proshkin and his corrupt oligarchs rule the state with an iron grip and are in command of a formidable army as well as the largest air force in the region. It is only a matter of time before they turn their sights on us. The king wishes to be the one to strike first. Since Novosibirsk and their forces have been crushed, sorry, once Novosibirsk and the forces have been crushed by the king's finest, the finest air facilities in Siberia will be at our disposal, and Rurik shall once again be one giant step closer to reuniting the region under his banner. Onwards! Uh, so can I see anything about your forces? No. Except for the fact that you have probably six divisions. Uh, which is... Like half what I have. And it doesn't even look like you have troops on the Novosibirsk border. So we just need to prepare for that attack. Uh, the other thing we could do is... Do we have... <laughs> do we actually have any air bases? Uh, no. Well, that's a problem. Huh. Okay, we're not going to be able to use the planes right now then. And I didn't see any air bases in their country either. So even though they might have a massive air force, they have no bases from which to take them off. So that's going to be interesting. And we have political power again. Industrial... Ah, oh, cost 75. Okay. We're definitely saving up for that. Free factories is always good. Wait, is it always in Kemerovo? Or does it change? No, they're in different places. Bakta and Yenisk. Yenisek. Cool. How's the construction going? So we finished the infrastructure. We're now working purely on the refineries. 
And once we have finished resource extraction two, we can start getting the um, rubber extraction. Oh, shoot. Yeah, good point. I can't believe I forgot that. I never forget this. Get a battle plan. Let's get that done before the war starts. Because that would suck if we didn't have our massive planning bonus. Seeing as it can now get up to 119%. Yeah, that would really suck. Committee for the Liberation of the Peoples of Russia declared war on the Principality of Vyatka. No! Not Vyatka! We like Vyatka. How's the integration coming along? Seven days, but that's just Tomsk. What about the People's Revolutionary Council? Do I not integrate this? Principality of Kemerovo declared one the Federation of Novosibirsk and Alte. Did not see Alte. Where is Alte? Oh, it's called Novosibirsk and Alte. Okay. Attack, attack, attack. Slow down. And I would also, before I forget, like to invest in the industrial stuff, please. Doesn't look like I have any other integrations to do. And our eligible non-core population is now only 210,000. So I'm still surprised that we are sh so short on manpower. 